first, fair, accurate. From our newsrooms in Eugene, Roseburg, and Coos Bay, KVAL News starts now. Doctors in Eugene Springfield are hailing one of the new treatments for prostate cancer. It's not only increasing the chance of survival, but it's much easier on patients than traditional chemotherapy. KVAL's Tom Adams is in the studio with tonight's health alert. Well, David, it's not a pill and it's not a shot, but the drug called Provenge is giving guys like Don Pierce some hope for the future. Now, doctors emphasize it's not a cancer vaccine, but is the next best thing. It'll graph your PSA level. 78 year old Don Pierce of Junction City is in the fight of his life. What's going to happen when my PSA starts to go up? He's been dealing with prostate cancer for the past 16 years. Chemo, radiation, surgery, he's done it all. I went through every emotion you can think of. Last year, his doctors at the Oregon Urology Institute chose a new treatment approved by the FDA. It's called Provenge. Treatments designed to maximize the immune system's ability to fight cancer. The drug stimulates the patient's own immune system to fight off cancer. In Don's case, he donated blood, his white blood cells were harvested, and they went through three days of mixing with Provenge. That was shipped back, and Don received the souped-up white cells by infusion. These white blood cells activate T cells, and the T cells then will go attack the patient's prostate cancer. His cancer is still there, but Pierce says his picture of health is vastly improved. It's uh, the, the wave of the future in that it's teaching my body to fight my disease. Don, any doubt in your mind that this drug is doing what it's supposed to do as advertised? No. New studies show the average life extension after Provenge treatment is seven to eight months, what Dr. Melhoff calls a phenomenal improvement. I can't cure you. No, I know. But we're slowly turning this into more of a chronic disease. Giving Don Pierce a new goal, hitting 80 years yep. old. Uh, I'm interested in the quality of my life, not just the quantity. A prostate is the number two cancer killer in men. In fact, this year, more than 33,000 American men will die from that disease. State government.